Without objection, the chair is authorized to declare recesses of the committee at any time. Attorney General Barr has informed us that he will not appear today. Although we worked to accommodate his concerns, he objects to the prospect of answering questions by staff counsel and to the possibility that we may go into executive session to discuss certain sensitive topics. Given the Attorney General's lack of candor before other congressional committees, I believe my colleagues and I were right to insist on the extended questioning. But even if Democrats and Republicans disagree on the format of this hearing, we must come together to protect the integrity of this chamber. The administration may not dictate the terms of a hearing in this hearing room. The challenge we face is bigger than a single witness. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenge we face is that the President of the United States wants desperately to prevent Congress, a co-equal branch of government, from providing any check whatsoever to even his most reckless decisions. He is trying to render Congress inert as a separate and co-equal branch of government. The challenge we face is that if we don't stand up to him together today, we risk forever losing the power to stand up to any president in the future. The very system of government of the United States, the system of limited power, the system of not having a president as a dictator is very much at stake. But the reason Bill Barr is not here today is because the Democrats decided they didn't want him here today. That's the reason he's not here. You could have done anything else you wanted. And what is amazing to me is to say that he is scared of answering questions, to scare that he's not. And you can disagree with the Attorney General all you want, but for yesterday, he sat for over almost six hours in the Senate voluntarily asking questions, even on a second round that was taken up by Democrats who wanted to ask more questions. And you can agree, did he do good, did he do bad? It doesn't matter, but we're not getting that opportunity today because the stunt in the circus continues over here. The question I have here is not what Bill Barr is scared of. My question is, what are the Democrats scared of? They don't want Bill Barr here today. They've had the report. They've read it. They don't like what's in it. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Ordinarily, at this point, I would introduce the witness. But instead, but instead, we will conclude this proceedings. We will make sure that no president becomes a monarch. We need the information without delay. The hearing Mr. Is Chairman, I, and we'll do so with trampling minority rights.